everybody, Dacrop here. Welcome back to the Fashion Bunker. Today I will be unboxing a big package from Chanel. I went uh, to uh, pick up 1957, uh, the newly released Les Exclusives fragrance, in the only, unfortunately, in the only concentration available, which is the Eau de Parfum. Uh, but we're used to that by now that they're releasing all the Les Exclusives in Eau de Parfum, except for the Eau de Cologne, of course. But anyway, um, and so my sales associate was incredibly sweet and nice. Let me turn this around and let's prepare for the unboxing. I can talk and already unbox. I mean, my sales associate is an angel. I literally... I mean, this took a while, you know, because the perfume was first released in November, last November 2018, uh, in New York for their 56, 57th Street Boutique, which is the biggest boutique in the States. So no, from November till February, officially, the fragrance was only available in that New York boutique. But then, you know, worldwide release is in February. I was lucky enough to get access to the fragrance a bit prior to that. Um, and, but because, so this is going to be, by the way, the camellias are amazing. This is going to be an unboxing, then a first impressions, then a review. And I'm going to split this in three videos. And I know that this could be annoying to some, but I thought, you know, if I go through all of the goodies that are in this box, if I go through them in the same video in which I do first impressions, unboxing and review of 1957, it, it just wouldn't come to an end. It would take too long. And this was unexpected. I just thought I was going to get the fragrance, unbox it, and, and you know, smell it with you guys and, and review it. But since my sales associate was so sweet and so happy that, you know, we discovered the perfume together for the first time, uh, she gave me so many things. And I really have to go through this, or through these things with you um, because some of them I didn't even know existed really. Uh, so. It's definitely worth the while to check them out, uh, just to, to know what is out there, you know, just in case you want to go to your sales associates, if you purchase something and be like, Hey, by the way, do you have one of those? And, you know, anyway, um, these camellias are paper camellias. Um, they're not made out of fabric and I am liking the paper camellias very much. They look really beautiful. I know that they're not, you know, uh, the fabric camellias or, you know, the, the tulle or velvety camellias, but uh, the paper version is also very cute. So anyway, that's that. And also, you know, I, <clears throat> I've been uh, working a lot, especially for Fashion Week, and this was... And I got sick during Fashion Week, so you can imagine how that really uh, put a bender on my entire filming because I was just keeping my energy for work. And then at the same time, you know, whenever I had free time, I would sleep and s try to sweat out uh, the cold that I got. It wasn't the flu, it was a cold. I'm still coughing a little, so I prefer to be off screen for now. Okay, let's do the unboxing. I mean, the box is gorgeous. I'm loving that it has the glossy borders and then just the mattified black and then the glossy Chanel inscription. That is a beautiful, well done, well done design team. We have a little reminiscent of a wax stamp sticker, which unfortunately breaks the tissue paper because it's really stuck there. But anyway, this is seriously shocking, the amount of goodies I got. Okay, we're gonna go through them together. Um, all right, so first, there was a lot of speculation. Remember when I got my first little cushion? I got another cushion, um, Chanel Chance Au Tendre uh, beaded, what does it say in the back? Pillow with scented beads. So we were, trying to figure out what this thing is really for. Is it for the face or nothing? There's little beads and pebbles inside it. Really already out of the plastic foliage. It smells so much like Chanel Chance or Tendre. Um, so yes, I received the confirmation. This is in fact for, <clears throat> for, you know, I don't know. You could put it in your drawer with your underwear or with other garments, with, with your scarves. 
it's just supposed to scent um, the wardrobe, basically. S still, you know, really cute that it's so fluffy and soft. Um, so thank you for that Chanel team. Okay, this one is gorgeous. It's a plastic kind of, I mean, the length of this little um, strap in the back is just the length to attach this to your arm if you wanted to use it as a bracelet, but it's, I don't know, I guess it's a bag charm. But sculpturally speaking, it's a wonderful piece of acrylic. I mean, it's a very thick piece of plastic with the Chanel number no. five low bottle attached to it. It even has a little tiny, that's kind of not really logical. I think this was supposed to be the pure perfume bottle, but they messed it up. I mean, they put the little wax stamp there like they would on the, you know, on their uh, splash bottles of the pure perfume. Low does not have that. So it's kind of a mix of the pure perfume and low. Anyway, very, very cute piece. Then, of course, they also have the 1957 miniatures. Eau de Parfum. This is batch code number 3401. Four milliliter. First time I'm seeing this one. Oh, there it is. I have smelled it in the store. Obviously, I could not not smell it. So I do have first impressions to go uh, through with you guys. Oh my gosh. Okay, I got two of them. Oh, that's so sweet. Good. <laughs> the more the better from the first batch. Are they the same batch number? Yeah. 3401. <clears throat> Thank you for that, Chanel. And then... Um, now, I'm used to these being pure perfumes, but now they're doing them... They're doing these packagings and miniature bottles of 1.5 milliliter for the Eau de Parfum of Coco Mademoiselle. And this one is not intense. Chanel just re-kind of produced, I don't know for what reason. I don't think this is the best seller from the Coco Mademoiselle range, but they produced this Eau de Parfum version again. And they're not pushing the Eau de Parfum intense for some reason. <clears throat> Sample, not for sale. That's what the bottom states. It's kind of, gold is hard to film. But anyway, pearly packaging, really cute bottle inside, miniature. Doesn't look that small though when you see it in the packaging. Thank you for that Chanel as well. This is to die for. Uh, this is the, well, batch code 3107. This is a gift that you get Usually when you purchase uh, Chanel Chance au Tendre the Eau de Parfum, but uh, since I purchased it long ago, before these samples even arrived, they gave them to me. Now, you open it up and you get four <clears throat> uh, Chance samples inside. Let's see what they are exactly. So you can see the colors already. So we can guess from the green, this is Eau Fraiche. Um... This one is the regular Chance, in the golden hue. The peachy one, I think this one is Eau Vive, and this one should be Eau Tendre, Eau de Parfum. There's a little leaflet with a photo with uh, four ladies dressed in the different colors of the different Chance fragrances. Now, they kind of push these colors. The actual perfumes don't have such saturated colors. You know, the Eau Fraiche is, is not this green in the actual bottle. Eau Vive is not this orange peachy. It's much lighter. Chance is not really yellow. It's more golden. And the pink kind of violet hue of Eau Tendre, Eau de Parfum is not this intense, even though it's more intense than the Eau de Toilette. So you get little spray vials. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm still, um, my throat is still healing. Um, I don't see the milliliters on this one. But anyway, so this is Chance Eau Tendre Eau de Parfum. This is Eau Vive Eau de Toilette. This is Eau Fraiche Eau de Toilette. And Chanel Chance Eau de Toilette. I think it's 2 milliliter or 1.5 ml each. So we're talking about approximately six milliliter for the whole batch, two, four, six, or eight, maximum eight. And 
Does it go back in? It does. So this is adorable. Thank you for that as well, Coco. Now this, I don't know what it is. Let's see. This, I, I, I don't know. This was placed inside without me knowing. Huh. Okay. I'm <laughs> curious. I have no clue. Oh, so cute. <laughs> okay. So <clears throat> this is a little pin set. Oh, that's adorable. With compliments of Chanel. You can't sell this one. Okay. So we have a Coco Mademoiselle brooch or pin and a Coco Forever pin. Super adorable. I have seen these on Instagram, but I had no clue how to get them. Well, there you go. Now you know. They come packaged in this cute little uh, package. There's something written here. Or? No. No. All right. Thank you for that as well, Chanel. We have a little logo pouch. This is like their cosmetic pouches, you know, for the cosmetic boxes. Velvety black. Uh, then... Another one of the gift cards that we've seen. Oh, there's no card inside. <laughs> the card is not in there. There should be a card, a round card in here to, to write like happy birthday or with love or blah, blah. But anyway, super cute. These are the colors. These are the four colors, except for the blue. Uh, so four colors plus an addition of blue for the Chanel Chance fragrances. Then uh, comes the Gabrielle package. Um, I don't know what this is. Okay. Super curious about this one. <clears throat> Looks like a bracelet. Oh my gosh, it is. You can see in there already. It feels so fragile. I don't want to break this one. Oh, wow. Okay, this is really cool. Okay, so this is the Gabrielle Chanel bracelet. I don't know. Oh, okay, it fits. Ah, there you go. So, um, it's very... No, it, it wouldn't fall off. It's... Well, for who's a fan of uh, Gabrielle Chanel's uh, the, uh, Gabrielle Chanel the fragrance, this is great. But also, if you're just a fan of Gabrielle the woman, it's also really cool. Nice, sturdy, I mean, very thin, bendy metal, but it is metal. So I'm going to take this off. Or no, let's leave it on while we're continuing the unboxing here of these wonderful products. So thank you so much for that, Chanel, as well. Before we get to 1957... There's more. I'm shocked about these. I've received two wonderful... Now, um, I don't know how big they are. They're, they're supposed to be... They have a print of the Chanel Cosmetic range palette. It could be eyeshadow or... Man, I think it's eyeshadow or some sort of blush, but I think it's eyeshadow. So, from the looks of it, could be fall, winter, but could be also spring, summer color palette. It's a little miniature... Well, it's not even a, I mean, it's literally, I would say, 30 times 30 or maybe 35 times 35 centimeter big. Is this silk? I don't know. Let's see. So it's Chanel makeup, the little tag on the side there. Oh, yes, it is 100% silk. Huh, go figure. Well, this is a wonderful freebie. Now we're talking. I'm already thinking, would it be great to have four of these, connect them, you know, together to make a big scarf? I Literally, this could not even fit around my neck. I mean, you could see if we bend it as a triangle. I mean, it could go around the arm if you really wanted to. Of course, you could, you know, attach it to your bag or something or put it in the pocket, you know. In, in the front pocket of your jacket, if you if you have a jacket or if you wear stuff like that. So what we have here is the name of the product that they're promoting. It's Chanel Ombre Premiere. 
um, repeated <clears throat> continuously throughout the the scarf. Uh, the color palette also repeats. So we have the gold, gold, beige, beige, blue, blue, and kind of a bronzy hue in the center, and then they spread out. Um, I love things like this. When when stuff like this is made, I'm all for it. Even though it's so tiny, you don't know really what to use it for, but the fact that it has the Chanel logos all over it, the fact that it's silk, and the fact that it kind of copies the color palette of the of the actual uh, Chanel products, it just blows me away. This is a wonderful freebie. They, they did great with this one, definitely. I mean, you know, so I got two of those uh, because I was told that they are so small. <laughs> so now I understand what they meant by them. Okay, so you see what I mean? Th this video needed to be an extra video on its own because it's so rare to have such a, a huge um, amount of goodies uh, given to you. Uh, I'm so, so, so grateful. Thank you so much, Chanel, for that. So here they all are again, all together. Um, but let's get to this little beauty here. I wonder if I should open this one from the top this time, because when I open them at the bottom, I really have issues, because I don't take the foliage off, I always leave it there, but let's... Let's do it from the top. Because, you know, <laughs> no pun intended, anyway. I'm still on painkillers, I shouldn't be allowed to make these puns and jokes when I'm on painkillers. Obviously. You don't want something to slip that shouldn't slip. Anyway. Uh, don't fall out, don't fall out. Uh, okay. Here we go. Let me... Chanel number 1957. Batch code number 3302. The sample is 3401. So the samples were produced after this batch. Um, first spray and then we're going to end the video because this was way too long already. Let me just spray it away from all of these goodies. I don't want to spray them with perfume. I'll spray this off screen or off camera. Okay, but you can see, <laughs> there it is. The juice is all over the hand. Um, wow, okay. <clears throat> Let me tell you something. About 1957, and I'm, you know, I'm going to film a bit later on the review, so I'm going to let this dry down. Uh, just for first impressions. Um, it's, it's a very, very interesting fragrance. Many people are not going to like it. Uh, in the opening notes, because it does remind you a lot of um, of kind of an like in the opening notes, it smells like a very posh cleaning lotion um, or detergent, maybe even. So when you first spray it on, you go, "What the heck?" But this is not a bad thing. Because, you know, as I say in a lot of my Chanel review videos or perfume review videos, um, usually fragrances that are good, they kind of, they're not easy to love in the opening notes. It's, it's you know, mass-produced perfumes nowadays, they tend to smell incredibly right off the bat, but then the dry down is lame. This one starts complicated. Uh, you don't love it immediately. You might. I didn't. Um... Detergenty, the, the aldehydes are sparkling too much. Uh, everything seems to be a little bit slightly off. It's it's a green that has some chemical component in it that that is just not right for me. But as time goes by, this thing goes into all those seven or eight layers of musks that they tell us that it has honey, and I even smell honeysuckle. And that honey is that that's where we're going to be going. We're going to be going towards a trip, a thousand and one night of white layers of musk dipped in, in honey, imbued in honey and just drenched in it. Um, it's a love or hate relationship with this one. Um, some of the sales associates told me they really don't like it. Some of them told me they love it. 
the a fewer amount told me that they love it more people did not like it so this is an interesting one it's not a crowd pleaser however also I, what i have to say first impression uh, made me feel like uh, it's very similar to boy minus the oriental flair that boy has because the, the, the fragrance boy was constructed more for the middle eastern market which is also where it performs the best um this one seems to be stripped off of that or floriental influence if you may and and it it comes back to to europe and it's developed with new york in mind because it was supposed to be launched you know it, and it was launched in the new york boutique um there's a lot to say about this fragrance but more on that in the next video thank you guys so much for watching i hope you've enjoyed this uh insane un unboxing i mean this is literally insane i've never had so many wonderful things uh, gifted to me so thank you so much for that chanel again and you guys if you wish um subscribe to my channel here on youtube i'm also on instagram facebook and twitter i'm also on patreon if you wish to see videos that are not available on youtube super Jacob, all spelled together on all social media platforms thank you guys so much for watching and if you want to wear some never give up on love merch Check out the link underneath this video and also in the description box under the video. Love you all so much and I'll repeat it again because, you know, I never get bored of repeating it and I can never stress it enough. Don't ever give up on love. Love you all. See you soon. Take care. Bye.